Hi, welcome to a calculator tutorial by Equator. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use the memory feature of this Sharp EL520 XT and EL520X scientific calculator. Calculator has, uh, in, in general, three types of memory. One is that you can store values and recall. And the other one is uh, you can store value and add on top or subtract from it. And the third one is storing formula. Uh, this can store up to four formulas. And also in terms of memory, uh, we have here A, B, C, D, E, F, X, Y, and independent memory M. They're all shown in cyan or green. And we have two buttons here. STO and RCL. STO is for store and RCL is for recall. And then we have M plus. These uh, letters also are variable that can be used for formula with uh, pressing this alpha button. Let me turn this on. Let's say you want to store 2.56 into memory E. 2.56 and then store and then once you press store, all these buttons with green, including X, Y, and M are available. You just press and the value will be stored. So I'm pressing E, the value stored into E. This is, let's say you want to store 32 into A, or let's say you get cosine of this plus 6, and you want to store the result into A. Store A. That has been stored. 5.10 into F, 5.10 store F, the value of being stored, and pi times 3.8 into B, pi times 3.8 store into B. Now before I do this, let's say you want to bring value of A, just press recall this RCL and then A the button recall f it just brings you for you bring it for you now let's do this one using memory in a new equ a new calculation so you want to do two times value of e 2e plus f plus b so two plus times now this time recall e plus recall f plus recall b Exactly. That. This is not the calculated value. This is the value of B. Now press equal sign to get the answer. Let's put 45 store into X. If you want to store something into Y, let's say 9, 8 store. Now Y is the same button. Don't worry. Just press it. It goes into Y. 2E plus A cosine of X. Now the to use memory, 2 times recall E plus recall A cosine of recall X. Remember recall and X is the same. I press recall and then X. This looks exactly the same. Let's see if we get an error or not. Otherwise, you have to add a multiplication here. It worked. And let's say F divided by 3. Recall F divided by 3, and that's the answer. Or B plus 655. Recall B plus 655. This is the second type of memory that uh, can be used. Let's say you have a list of um, consumables, purchase, and um, material you want to add on top of each other. So the first thing is that this independent memory, when you have a value, the M is shown here. This M shows that we have a value. If I press recall M, and this is the value. So let's clear that. There are two ways to clear it. One way would be to store 0 into memory M. I'm pressing 0 and then store and then M. Now 0 into M and M disappeared. The other way would be to use this memory clear button here, which is a second function of plus and minus. And let's say I have store M, I have some value, and you want to clear all the memory, including A or B, second function, and then M memory clear. It says you want to reset the calculator or just clear the memory, press 0, 
and then now I press equal sign M disappears all these memories now recall C recall D all of these are now zero so let's do the calculation 2 parenthesis open 3 plus 6 after this you don't have to press STO just press M plus which means add into memory so the previous value was 0 we are adding it as soon as I press it M will appear x times 2 x times 2 m plus 5 plus 4 times 5 and m plus clear now if I want to recall it just recall m and that's the value of all those calculations now the most important part that you might be interested is saving formula now let's say you want to store sine a sine b equals this is a trig identity 1 over cosine a minus b minus cosine a plus b because we cannot store into an equal you have to move this on the other side it will be division because this is uh, on this side so you if you want to move it on the other side this is multiplied by 1 it will be uh, moved there and we will have zero so your equation will become like that we can enter it like this so first we have to bring the equation into screen and making sure that we have parenthesis and then under the division we will have another parenthesis so I'm opening a parenthesis 1 over I can use this over or division 1 over 2 and then open another parenthesis I'm opening now this parenthesis cosine of again another parenthesis now recall a minus recall b close parenthesis this is closed minus cosine of parenthesis open recall a plus recall b this parenthesis is now closed I have to close now this parenthesis and I open the parenthesis at the beginning so I close that and then divide sine A sine B sine recall A sine recall B once you enter the value that you have on the screen press STO and then one of these buttons F1, F2, F3, F4, function 1 and up to function 4 let's say you want to store it into function 1 store it says here and then now this has been stored clear if you recall it just press recall F1 the value will come on the screen if you don't press recall this is for just scrolling and seeing previous values Next. now let's say you have this formula and you have variable k q1 q2 and r so this is equal f now we want to uh, store this portion which is equal f first we have to assign our own variables that are available within this uh, calculator for k i'm going to put it b and then then we have q1 is c and q2 is d and r squared is e so let's enter it for k i'm uh, using alpha a i'm using alpha b and then alpha c and then alpha d for Q2 divided by for R I'm using E squared so alpha E and then squared now we want to store it into function 2 STO store function 2 that has been stored this was how to use uh, memory and store formula in this calculator I have a lot of other videos for this calculator which can be accessed by clicking on the link that I have provided under the description so you can see all those other videos for this so please uh, thumb up if you learned something from this video and also subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming videos